Our guest now, Ken Patera, along with his manager, the Grand Wizard of Rustling, and perhaps after the 21st, Ken Patera will become the Intercontinental Champion. Not perhaps, McMahon. He will become the International Champion. Do you think any move, any strategy? Strategy. Strategy. I taught the man. How can he possibly expect to beat a superior man such as Ken Patera? That's why there's no perhaps. He is the new champion, you lucky people. At last, an athlete wears the championship belt. Correct, Mr. Rex, Mr. Mr. McMahon, as they may be, everybody knows you're going to lose that intercontinental belt to Ken Patera. And you know why they know? know. Because Ken Patera is sick and tired of these braggers coming out here and saying what they're going to do to me. Well, I'm going to eliminate them one at a time. And Bobby Duncan and I drew straws to see who was going to wrestle who. Well, I wound up with you. 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 And that just satisfies me. Because the swinging neck breaker is only Ken Patera can apply it. It's going to be applied to that pencil neck of yours. And you are going to be a neck chump, chump. Underneath this camouflage, but this is one of the greatest bodies 
in the world today. He doesn't have to go strutting around showing his physique. Everybody realizes that. And on top of that, with Jover, he possesses the greatest line of professional sports today. Now, Mr. McMahon, would you like to run another uh, little verbal battle with him and be intimidated again? Again? Again. You came out here and you challenged Ken Patera in his own game. And what happened? You got mopped up, you got a hit by a chair, you got hit by a table, and you got hit by a side ball, Triple E, baby. Well, this is the 